just as when you saw a seed in the sand and water it, water it, water it, it grows into a creeper, it grows bigger and bigger and bigger and it produces the fruit of, uh, the ripened fruit at a later stage. In the same manner, a child, a newborn child, how is it born? If you see, you know, a man and woman come together, the woman is serving a man and then the man gives her a seed and then the, gradually the uh, lady becomes con uh, conceived and then gradually the child grows in the womb and then at a certain stage after nine months the child uh, comes out. Then the child grows from childhood to boyhood to youth and then if he leads a life of a man of character then he does great things in this world bringing shame to parents and uh, attains a glorious uh, position. So in both these examples you will see from, from something very small to something very big. In the same manner Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the example of uh, Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhakti Lata Beach starts as a small uh, seed of instructions given by the Guru. So because the uh, Krishna Prema is already there in every living entity. Uh, what is the famous verse? Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhya Kabunvai Shabhanadi Shiddha Chitte Koraya Obudai So which means the love of God is already there. Then what is Guru giving? Is Guru giving love of God? Guru is giving the procedure to awaken love of God. So the procedure is called as a seed idea, set of instructions, set of uh, directions, guidances, what to do, what not to do, what will fan the spark of Krishna consciousness, how to blossom it. So these things are given by the Guru. So uh, you will see in nook and corner of this world, uh, so many sadhus are traveling, but sadhu comes to a particular place. So people come gather in large numbers sometimes. They come and take part in the program, they get some inspiration, kindle it. Then after that, some good souls you will see that they become very sincere. They go and take a mantra from a sadhu. And they take the Mark version on what books to read, what books not to read, what mantra to chant, what mantra not to chant, whom to follow, whom not to follow, who is Sasili, who is Nakali. They understand these things, difference very clearly. And then they take those set of instructions and principles given very seriously in their life and take it to their heart based on the inspiration they received. And what follows subsequently is a very faithful execution of devotional service. I have seen uh, personally with my eyes, somebody in their home keeping a small, you know, murti of Krishna, or sometimes a picture of Krishna, and you know, starts uh, waking up early in the morning, chanting the holy name, reading the Bhagavad Gita, you know, cooking and offering boga to Lord, bringing flowers and fruits and offering to Him, and daily bowing down to Him, and uh, memorizing shlokas and everything, and then calling people. And then around one or two sincere souls you will find, either the man or the husband, wife, yeah, or a boy, you know, immediately circle forms. First circle, second circle, third circle, fourth circle. And people start picking up Krishna consciousness sincerely, seriously. Everybody you ask them, how did you become serious? Everybody will point fingers to that person. He will say that he was doing it in the morning, he is chanting, he is reading, he is explaining, we are very inspired. He is working so hard. He is cooking and giving us prasad every day. So in this way, it's just like a circle, a fan. Sometimes that one person pulls out from there and goes to some other place and the whole thing collapses also. Or if he has produced a very powerful group of people who picked up the same seed, uh, what Guru gave him, and then they also nurture it, nourish it, and then the center can be maintained, goes on. And then that sincere soul has the scope to completely blossom to Krishna consciousness and to come to the stage of a pure devotee. No? Like we say, Avarta Chaitana, Sankuchit Chaitana, Mukulit Chaitana, Vikasit Chaitana, Purna Vikasit Chaitana. So, Purna Vikasit is the pure devotee, no? fully blossomed. So in this way, if one can do uh, Krishna consciousness, then in the course of one individually blossoming one's own love of God, you know, around a person that can be 100 or 500 or 1000 or 10,000 or lakh or 10 lakh or a crore, huh? 
so many people can be influenced by this wave of you know, love of God produced in the heart of the devotee. Huh? Just like a small seed you sowed, and then it grew into a plant, grew into a tree. Tomorrow it can become a vatavriksh, huh? big vatavriksh. If you see the uh, adayar alamaram, they call it. Alamaram is a uh, vatavriksh, a uh, banyan tree. So it is almost three kilometers radius. Huh? That much it covers the, the roots are going now, coming down the whole tree. In fact, it is one of the wonders of the world people come to see huh? how big the tree grew up. So that much scope is there to blossom Krishna consciousness in any place, provided some one or one individual or a set of individuals take this, you know, teaching as a life and soul. Yeah. And uh, on the other hand, there are people in India, you will find people come for a satsang, they have some tikka also, uh, some kumkum chandan they are wearing also, they come. After the lecture is over, people come to touch your feet and offer flowers and all. But then if you tell them, will you chant Hare Krishna, they say, no, you know, we already have some Mayavadi Guru. You know, we have we are already following that Guru. We just came for your satsang. So they, okay. so then they have their, you know, own path. That means they didn't take the set of instructions, ideas, procedures, you know, directions given very seriously. Then that respect for us coming to the room and giving some flowers in the feet and bobbing down is only a sentiment, we call it. Sentiment means just a kind of sadhu, sadhu mahatma, we should respect that sadhu. That sentiment cannot grow. Only these sentiments actually comes and then it dies off. But uh, sentiment combined with commitment and dedication, you know, that is the first thing is the acceptance of the authority. After that willingness to change one's behavior, by following the four relative principles. Yeah. And then the C is the forming of the character. Huh? Character means becoming a person of, you know, pure lifestyle, chanting the holy name. Huh? And all these things. Then willingness to follow the discipline of rising early in the morning and following all the procedures given. Then you find the person starts blossoming. Huh? Bigger and bigger and bigger in spiritual life. So, it is said when Srila Prabhupada, when he went to many places, you know, one visit he made, immediately some very big man came and gave a land and immediately the activities were set rolling and a few set of devotees, he took them and told them, you are in charge now. And they would run the temple and he would go to different places like that. And he expanded because his age was very much. And last part of 10, 12 years of his age, he propagated so much. Definitely this Krishna consciousness movement has to be propagated all across the globe. But it cannot expand unless one or a set, one individual or a set of individuals you know, take to this process with their life and soul, yeah. with their heart and soul. And amongst all of it, the biggest commitment one needs is the chanting of the Holy Name. Why? There are many people ready to come weekly once for reciting shloka recitation together. Mm -hmm. Or hear a lecture and then take prasadam and go. Yeah. So reading books, uh, coming together, uh, or once in a week program, everything people are association all right. But the most important commitment is chanting of the Holy Name. Huh? Somebody says that we'll chant every day, four rounds, eight rounds, sixteen rounds, non-stop. And, uh, and they are also not only chanting the Holy Name, like a ritual, but they are chanting the Holy Name and opening their heart to accept Prabhupada and his you know, seed that he is giving, huh? teachings, ideas, procedures, you know, guidance, you know, what direction if you go, you will attain Krishna. Those who are taken into their heart, uh, acceptance, they are the ones whom we can consider as committed, dedicated, devoted. Then the movement has a very, very great to scope, scope to grow in that place, to fully blossom there, like a water which is like a very big tree. And then engulfing hundreds and thousands of men, women, children, old people, you know, rich people, you know, all classes of people. And then the whole thing has blossomed and you find you are surprised. This place was an empty place. And now this place has you know, hundreds and thousands of uh, people coming, bustling with activity, cultural activity, devotional activity, educational activities, isn't it? It can happen. The, the cope is always there, uh, possibility is always there. And uh, uh, where is it possible? Everywhere it is possible. Uh, any nook and corner, in a deserted place where nothing was happening, big things are happening now. And in a crowded place in city where already thousands of people are coming, nothing can happen there. <laughs> 
person. It depends, ultimately depends on the individual and the, and the collective individuals who come together, their sincerity. Uh, that is what Prabhupada is looking for everywhere. Is that the spark of Krishna consciousness which I can give a procedure to fan it. So the individual sincerity is the spark. And then you give instructions and it's like uh, rain water, you know, uh, it, uh, uh, it's falling everywhere. If it is falling in a, a field where the seed is sown, then the, the crops grow. If it is falling on a cement floor, that doesn't happen, isn't it? Yeah. Similarly, it can fall in different places. If it falls on a hot tower, it just evaporates. But it falls in a, or if it falls in a, a sippy, you know sippy? Sippy is a seashell. If it falls inside, the seashell closes, goes and it comes where a pearl comes. Uh, the pearl is a costly thing. So either it can grow a plant, or it can lie flat on a cement ground, or it can evaporate in a hot tawa, or if it falls in a sippy, it produces pearl, the costliest thing. So that sippy is actually the receptive heart of a jiva. The receptive heart of a jiva and the potent instruction comes when they combine. Then the jiva starts chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Then definitely the jiva also benefits by awakening love of God and then hundreds and thousands of jivas benefit also. Hare Nam Prabhu Ki. The top of our humble obeisances to all the Vishnu devotees of the Lord who are just like the trees for ocean of mercy, full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Pancha Galpatarubhyas Chakrupa Sindhubhya Yevacha Patita Nam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrindaki Vaishnava Thakur Sri Lapamupadaki Namacharya Haridas Thakurki